Um, this is not what it looks like. I didn't start it, it just came out of nowhere. I just couldn't help myself. It's not you, it's me. She's just better looking. Maybe we can just be friends and... But just look at her. I had way more fun than I should have done filming that intro. I tried to do it as quick as possible because I thought it'd be really weird if someone walks in or looks through the window. <laughs> So welcome to today's video. Uh, I have finally got my hands on my Arrow Sonora exhaust for the KTM Super Adventure S. I'll be doing the fitting and obviously doing a bit of a test. At the end of this video, I've got a comparison which is stock can versus Arrow versus Arrow without the baffle because yes, you can take it out. Sorry neighbours. So I've got a bit of a comparison. I've tried my best to get the best audio I can out of that. I've used my uh, sound recorder and a few other bits. Um, I've measured it all out because it really, really bugs me when people put up a stock versus aftermarket can video and uh, their sound is horrendous or they filmed it on a Nokia from 1997. Uh, so I've tried my best to do that. Before we get anywhere, let's look at it, shall we? Oh, I love this thing. I've looked at it already and it's so gorgeous. Oh. Now I'm very aware this might look quite odd on the camera because it's a GoPro, so it's like a basically a fisheye lens. This is the box that the arrow comes in. Big arrow logo on the side. Pull this to one side. A set of instructions and a load of fixings and some metal lubricant. You get the heat shield, which is carbon fiber. <laughs> Let's get rid of the box. Oh, look at it. Oh. Yeah, it's basically one big hole. Now, as you can see, I've gone for the titanium one rather than the black one. Uh, I saw a few pictures of the black one online. I thought it almost um, blacked out the bike a bit too much from my liking. If I had the orange Super Adventure, I'd definitely go black, but I think this one, the titanium or silver one, has a nice contrast compared to the black KTM bike. Uh, they do still look very good, but my personal preference, I think the silver will look slightly better, and I think it'll also look more stock. Uh, it won't look so aftermarket. So this is the Arrow Titanium exhaust. As you can see, it's got the new Arrow logo, which I think looks far better than the old bright yellow thing they used to have. And if you look in there, you'll be able to see there's a bolt, which means I can take the baffle out. Just for reference, because I thought it was funny, I can get my arm in it. <laughs> That's how big this entrance is. Get my arm stuck now. <laughs> look at the size of that thing. The welds on this are really, really nice. And obviously you get the carbon fiber tip as well. I am over the moon. So let's get fitting it, shall we? These are the instructions that comes with. They're all very Italian. Very, very simple. Remove this bolt, loosen the clamp that goes around there. There's a gasket in the original silencer. Put that gasket into the new one, and then it's literally just a reverse process. Put this bolt in on the new one. Do not tighten it yet. Uh, obviously join the two up, tighten this one, tighten this one, and then it's literally just a case of putting on the carbon cover um, and doing all the bolts up tight enough. Torque settings for these are on the front here. They're quite small bolts, so I'm gonna have to see if my uh, torque wrench actually works for these. If not, it'd just be a case of torque wrench. As some of you will know, the bike was dropped. Definitely not by me off-road because I was trying to be cool. This original one is actually scratched, so I'm actually really happy they gave me a carbon cover of that because I didn't want to put that over the brand new exhaust. I'm probably going to have to use some form of towel or whatnot because this is still slightly warm. Trying to hold this very carefully because it's still warm. That's the gasket. 
just a screwdriver in and just gently nudged it out as I worked around. That's got to go into the new one with grease. So I'll clean that up first because it's got a bit of crap all over it. I'm kind of tempted to start it without the pipe just to hear it. If your can is that loud, I'm gonna have to move house. <laughs> uh, right. So I know this is really dark, but I thought I'd show you anyway. This is what you get in the pack. You get a metal lubricant, three of these clips, six of these washers, they're like a rubber washer, three of the metal washers to go on top, three of these spacers, and then three of these bolts. All of this stuff here, all of this stuff is all for the carbon fiber cover, which is over there. You get a new bolt, nut, and washer for the actual hanger itself. Nothing really else to it. You might not be able to see this, but there's the gasket is now in the new pipe. I've lubed it up with the entire of this before I put it in. It was quite a tight fit, so I used a rubber mallet just to tap it in very, very gently to get an even fit. Before we go anywhere, should we weigh them? These are my uh, bathroom scales. They don't actually pick up the weight enough with just the exhaust itself, so I'm gonna have to stand on it and then add and sub subtract my weight. With all my gear on, my boots and everything, this is what I weigh. That's, no, I mean it's 97 kilos on the nose. Holding the original in a towel because it's still hot, I'll do the same with the other one. That is 104 kilos. I mean, immediately this feels so much lighter anyway. Seven kilos for the original pipe. 100.5. So three and a half kilos for the new pipe, seven kilos for the old pipe. It's literally half the weight and you should get a little bit more flow, a little bit no more noise. Let's get this on without scratching it. Didn't put the bloody washer in. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, yes, please. But then you put that back over that. We've got a big light there, that's why it's massively overexposed. Look how, look how ginger I look. I'm actually blonde, believe it or not. The beard's quite ginger, I can't hide that, but I'm, I'm actually blonde but the light doesn't really help, does it? Make sure it's seated all the way around. So inside this, it basically has a cup like this, and then you've got the two lips of this part of the exhaust and this the actual exhaust itself. So that goes over the two lips, and then as you tighten it up, it sort of squeezes them and brings them together. I'll talk this up in a minute. I'm gonna give this a quick clean with just some alcohol cleaner just to get, I've got fingerprints all over it and stuff like that. You do not want those on there because it is titanium, it will burn on your fingerprints and they'll be very visible. Um, so clean it up before your first start. So I'll get that done now. Now, first impressions, I think that looks so much better. Don't you? If you can hear a buzzing noise, a spider has just absolutely annihilated a fly up there and it's going mad. It's quite interesting to watch, but we'll get over that. This is not a nature channel. As I said, this is the carbon fiber exhaust guard. That goes essentially like that, which I think looks really nice. Pop that up there for the moment. Now, as I mentioned, you get a load of different bolts and whatnot. Get the bolt with the metal washer. That goes on first. Um, you get a load of these black rubber washers. That goes on next. Then the exhaust guard, another black rubber washer, a spacer, and then it goes into this. I don't want to do those up too tight because I won't be able to get the rest in. So that's all now in. Get them hand tight first. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so pretty. I'm just using like an engine and uh, part degreaser. Again, I will be doing a full proper sound test after this. So stick around and you will see that. I don't know whether I'm going to need baffle out, you know. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. Although it sounds so much better, it still sounds quite a uh, 
placid it doesn't sound too in your face which is nice for now until we take the baffle up yeah do you know what the thing that's nice about it straight away is it's just given the bike that little low-end burble that it needed and there's a lot of popping when you downshift <laughs> Let's get down to this lane. We'll uh, take the baffle out and see what the difference is like. <laughs> Back in stepped out. <laughs> right, let's pull over in my mud pit that I was in earlier. I didn't actually explain this last time, well I, well, I did, but um, I ended up not pressing record annoyingly. It's quite a windy day, so I thought I'd come down here, it's all surrounded by hedges and whatever and bushes, so hopefully the sound recorder is going pick to it, pick it up quite nicely. I've got my sound recorder on here, my Zoom H1 that I used to use with a massive dead cat on. That is exactly a metre away from the top of the exhaust. The sound recorder is going to be doing all the recording no of the noise. This GoPro is just going to be filming it. I'm going to do a couple of little blips and uh, hopefully a, a full throttle kind of red liner. I've also brought my uh, Allen keys with me to be able to take that rear baffle out. So let's get it started, shall we? That's a lot louder. That is so much louder. I really hope that's come out on the audio. <laughs> yeah, baffle stand out. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna go and ride like a complete and utter tool bag now. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll leave a little bit of footage at the end of me riding, like said, tool bag. It looks really good as well. I'm really happy I went for that silver. It still looks relatively subtle. It's not too in your face that it's an aftermarket can. It matches the sump quite well as well, the colours. And I just think the silver breaks up all the black on the bike, especially with a black top box as well. Thank you to Bike Stop for getting this to me. I mean, I was waiting two months, but the original company that I ordered it from just cancelled my order for no real reason which is really irritating after like a month of waiting i ordered this in november and it is like literally just the start of feb like three or four days into february when i'm filming this oh i'm so happy <laughs> i'm gonna go and do some uh, definitely legal riding and uh laugh at myself and i will see you in the next video <laughs> That is never gonna get old. <laughs> oh. oh my god, this absolutely changes the bike. Oh my god, that sounds good! Oh yes! It has definitely taken away that sort of induction noise that I said I really liked before. I don't know whether it's taken it away or whether it's just drowning it out now. When George's exhaust gets really warm, it um, 
pops and crackles a lot. I am kind of hoping this does the same. <laughs> so far it's not droning at all and it's not sort of going through my head if that makes sense even without the baffling. <laughs> Sounds so, so beefy. <laughs> oh. As soon as you're out of revs, it doesn't sound much louder than the stocker. It, you can definitely hear there's a sound there now, which is what was a problem before. Now there's just that little bit of a growl underneath 5,000 RPM. I'm not entirely sure whether I'll keep the baffle out just because I go to work at half six, seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, if I just drop back, fifth gear. <laughs> My face is actually aching from how much I'm laughing. It's those low off peak gear changes that just pop. Oh yes. Thank you very much for watching, as I said before, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Oh, I'm gonna be such an insufferable guy.